It's been four years since Kratos learned how to say the three-letter word to son in half about a supposed sequel in which he learned every other letter in alphabet so he can use his son in whatever wet fantasies he has. Did he manage to utter at least something and what the vision of Kratos came true in God of War Ragnarok familiar in this video we will find soon. And before touching the innards of this game I would like to notice the most cliched name for works one way or another connected to Scandinavian mythology. The name is so cliched that even Marvel has already used it. And before starting a new game we could remember what was in previous game, which is very useful for my leaky memory. Well the game itself begins with an unfinished conflict of the higher part. After Kratos and Atreus got their prey they were home and on the way of stumble upon Freya who is still trying to avenge her son's murder. And this scene is obvious like many other action scenes in the game are shot incredibly creative and together with the cool and juicy sound that even Zack Snyder pissed on it look incredibly epic. And this is just the first minutes of the game. And I have already protruded my eyes to all of this beauty. After the murder of Baldur, Midgard was covered with snow due to the fact that this old location became clear in a new way. And if Kratos die of pneumonia at the end of the game instead of a golf club, I wouldn't even be surprised. Coming home, we met an old dying dog, which must be added from torment since she can't even eat anymore. This scene is stacked very powerfully and touchingly, it is stupidly impossible not to burst into tears from it. F fucked up, 15 minutes of the game has passed and I have have already managed to experience the full range of emotions. And that's even without killing the main protagonist Naughty Dog. And also not the whole spectrum, as burning will be a little later towards to the end, uh, we will get to it later, as burning is an emotion, isn't it? Inside the house we met an old friend Mimir, who demarks alone like a put of shards of oblong objects into his mouth and then spit. After a dream involving a dead wife that visited each of us, Kratos went in search of Atreus, who still has not returned home, having received a death from death, or maybe in death, or uh, uh, accidentally. In general, we followed his trail, which passed through this charm, through which Atreus somehow managed to drag a dead dog, which he has going to somehow bury. Having made our way through the hole in the wall, we met a combat system, which remains as cool as in essential game, and in development will acquire modified Joe. But just as you can see, all those three skills with Kratos Kratos recognized the significance of the game in this something all elaborated. I'll just assume that at this age everything that you supplied for years ago is normally perceived. Expected in the most quest to go to Asgard for pills and doctor visit the 3 hour sequence constantly on the same attempt. Until all the enemies in the location are defeated I cannot interact with objects, which is very inconvenient than moments like this, when the enemy is somewhere far away stuck in textures and I could open this chest along the way, too I'll have to go back now after I cleared the location. Also with leaving the location. Until everyone is killed, there is no way for me to it necessary to make contact with someone to get out. With such a cool combat system, it is not say it's bad, but still. Avenging DiCaprio, we learned that this bear is just Atreus. He supposedly learned to turn into animals and in style of the Hulk in indeedly keep his clothes after the transformation and not keep all those injuries that he inflicted during his bear form. More precisely, some injuries remain, but on a much smaller scale. Kratos hacked him there with an and he only has a couple of non-fatal cuts on his body. During the battle we can command our partner to shoot where we aim. And at what, even if there are a wall between him and the enemy, the arrows will still reach its target without delay. The same can be said about the X, which does not care about the loss of physics and it will return into my hand no matter what obstacle stands between us. That's what it means to love, not this bullshit with her with Mjolnir. And so we got to the moment that was in the scene after the credits of the first game. Chris Hemsworth knockout the door during straight from the Avengers and game. Also here he is even fatter and even more drunk. And this character is written quite impressively. His motivation is clear and the design of his appearance is unique enough to stand in from the background of Marvel and other tours. Same thing with Odin. The villain from him turned out to be simply unrealistically cool. And he was so successful at screwing Atreus that he was on his side that even I thought for a while that maybe he was not so bad after all. And I also thought throughout the game that Robert England plays him and I he kept holding to the word to start appearing at Kratos in dreams. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying! And if he says that the snow is yellow, then you should stop eating it. After a sweet conversation, Thor started a fight with Kratos, during which I wondered why Kratos takes damage from regular blows in battle, if he can fucking survive such a thing. <laughs> Damn, I'm dead. Now the whole battle will have to be restarted. Oh no. I say when we're done. <laughs> 
Okay, game, I admit you managed to fuck me. I was. It was funny. Well, beside this moment with the resurrection, the best of the battle with the boss is done very creatively. During the battle, we are constantly moving from one location to another. Some start things are constantly happening in the battle. In general, it is interesting to watch what is happening. And what's funny, boss fights are much easier than mini boss fights. What is clear why it is done, mini bosses are not necessary, and if they are too weak, you can pass by, and the main bosses should be relatively easy to pass. Otherwise, the player will rage quit, cut down the game and never play it. But still I will set a scene because Jesus will be quelled though. <laughs> Holy hell, brother! What was that? Oh, no. Who would have thought? But this hefty hole formed his shoulder will not least affect his ability to move his arm, and also this hole will disappear instantly after his knee leaves in shoulder. How is the boat sailing by itself right now? There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say. Atreus will pronounce this quietly only half of the time when he shoots, and then most often he will it after releases arrow, but it still work. How does the handle of an axe increase its damage? How does it even change any of his characteristics? Kratos and Atreus came to a peaceful village in order to find a dwarf, and as two decent people passing an open house, they were not too lazy to steal from it everything that allowed themselves to steal. We got to this dwarf, but he was not particularly happy to see us. Think, uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? The severed head on his ass means you saw it from the position and swords on your back decided to notice only when Kratos decided to turn into back to you. You have selective x-ray vision. With the help of what nanotechnologies does this jerk work, which decided to take it at go, even though we didn't even have time to interact with it. We drove on this kick straight to the accident, where we met the solest boss on the history of making. A troll? I killed the boss, I'm satisfied. Exploding red basis cliche. While solving a puzzle, if we look down a little, our partners will immediately begin to tell us where we need to go. Brother. Think freezing it could stop the water. This is of course convenient if you are stuck, but I have not have to realize that what happening around me and what the puzzle is. Uh, and they already gave me an answer like solve it. W what the point of this? W why do at least were we given a chance to whatever I wanted to hear hint or not, l like in other games? And here is the opposite situation in which I ran around a circle for several minutes not understanding what I needed to do, and, and had to display a square on screen so that I commanded Atreus to turn the because it was impossible for him to think it was necessary to turn the valve. Fire. The fact that Kratos in on the fire is certainly cool, but where are you on not fire at the same time and screaming in agony from fucking pain? And now we need to solve another puzzle in order to get to the door we need only, only because Kratos is not able to climb the wall on the top. Why can't he climb it to the top? Because not all ledges are marked with white paint, and as we know it's physically impossible to climb on those objects that are not marked with white paint, because the white paint creates sufficient grip with hands, allowing Kratos to hold on and not fall. Of course, I don't know much about armor and how it works, but it seems to me that if it's metal bands like that, uh, then most likely it's rubber. And now we are given to play for Atreus, which is happening quite often in the game and it's cool. It diversifies the gameplay and prepares for the third game, in which he wants likely be a full-fledged main character and Kratos finally will retire and cook steaks with the help of hot blades of chaos. The answer is this exactly what it happened, and if you don't believe me, then fuck off. Chest. <laughs> Ah! Not so easy, huh? It, it was, was fun. fun. Atreus along with Sindri now went to Freya, to whom Sindri disagrees Atreus from going because she will slaughter him, and suggests that he instead go to the giant snake with a voice from the bump. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's... Venomous? Is there any difference whether its snake is poisonous or not? It's fucking the size of a 9 story building. It just touches you, then it doesn't give a fuck if it's poisonous or not. Moving on, Sindri has a sudden attack of epilepsy, and I came across an elevator with a broken valve. Ugh, lift's broken. I'll fix it later. This twist has one holder broken off, it is possibly to turn it anyway from its form. You pushed him to almost the same place where you were standing, you, you wanted to save him like the form, something like that? <laughs> Thank 
you for the incarnational orgasm. Moving on. And after that, Atreus climbed to the rock to Freya while Cindy got tired of going in the slayer downstairs to wait for him. And here you can find out how much these two have developed here in the voice volume. That's such a bad thing. When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. How the hell can you hear each other at such a distance? That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. It's OG Loke, homie! OG Loke! In order to open this wooden gate, you need to throw an axe at that stone so it rebounces and open this gate, because obviously the axe is not able to cope with the tree in the classical way. The mechanics of ricocheting an axe to hit a certain object is, by the way, fucking shit. I in some moments, I had to get so much in order to find the right trajectory that my nerves were already torn and I really dreamed of a button to skip the puzzle and go to the battle. To be coming from what position to throw an axe knot. Oh no! Spider-Man turned out to be such a successful exclusive that Santa Monica decided to add a bit of him here as well. Seriously, what kind of magical force pull Atreus up the road? With the help of great acting, we watched the family search of Kratos with Atreus, which of course was choreographed and played simply unsurpassed. Met Sindri and gave one wise advice. Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day? And possibly ever? Sleep. Because while you are jerked off by different thoughts about the squeal, during which he tried to prove something to dead, just lie down and fall asleep as he did selling peers. And instead of sleeping with Sindri, Atreus decided to form himself on Iron Riser, I meet a forest, but he won't do without Riser either, since sperm toxicity in the forest met black skin gigantic girl, because where without blacks in Scandinavian mythology, there is plenty of them there. But the color strokes of black woman look unrealistically beautiful even without HDR. I will put a scene on my TV set because it does not have HDR. And of course, having some to visit strangers, you might definitely plunder everything that is not screwed in the ground. Why develop your hernia when you can easily and quickly crawl through the canvas? There is full of space for you to go through. And Gaboda Negritoda showed Atreus his future in which he serves Odin and his dad is dying, and he didn't like it and beat and went crazy. And after this, and Gaboda was able to calm him down. She told him, Just forget about that now. Forget the future. So why the fuck did you show him this shit? Then Atreus met a hairy monster to which he reacted as calmly as possible. Uh... Nice to meet you. Yes, if in the case of Tantrum and some kind of dramatic scene, the boy gives out a very cool acting performance. Then in come moments when he needs to show other emotions, it turns out very bad. And that animation of jumping on Yak, it matches his acting. Is it alright if we stick around longer? I wanna... you know... Repair some stuff. Little crap, no upgrades or even crafting is available to me now. From time to time, the dual sense decided to follow the example of Atreus and turn it into a 13 year old teenager who does not want to do what I require of him. This happened only a few times during the game, but it was still unpleasant to press forward watching Atreus not want to go forward, as in there was an invisible wall in front of him. And then we are shown the funniest fail attempt to a tackle. Perfect. Hey. Hey, I, uh... Killed a flower? Oh, I... It's a gift. Thanks, but, uh... You keep... Yes, he will not see underage sex today. He also seen there is still waiting on the creep, so all is not lost. Of course, I have never climbed ropes in my life, but as far as I know, the legs should also participate in this process. On the way, we met a creature that steals animals and tackles the souls, and since Atreus has already buried a whole wolf, he cannot stand aside when this happened, because it is unlikable that a wild animal should die in the wild. Right, enough wolves this winter. This is unthinkable. This cannot be happened. So we went to the rescue wolf cub before receiving instruction from Negroboda. If we run into Gryla, please don't do anything drastic. Why? She's my grandmother. Okay, so if you can't kill the grandmother of yours, then what the point of going to save one wolf cup and after a while she can steal someone else? In the end they will destroy her magic when with which she takes their souls, but so far they are not going to do anything like that. Just go save the wolves, that's all. And so we came to the grandmother's house and Atreus accidentally hooked a grand cup that made a lot of noise. <laughs> 
It's funny how Atreus in one scene tries the best to make no noise and immediately after that we are given the opportunity to break objects on the location for which we are not at all for punish. And in this hut we saw that Atreus values the life of animals more than anyone else, because to revive him he puts the soul of one of the giant into him, because living the rest of the life in the body of snake is fucking exciting. And judging by the expression of the face of the snake, she does not seem to like being in the state of the right now. And it is time to get out of here. We have to get out the same way we came in. She can't know we were here. Yes, we will go along the same road, thanks to which the grandmother will not notice a bunch of broken vases and barrels and the missing snake from the wall. Stop, you seem to have come here to save the wolf. You seem to have mixed a few animals. It was lucky that in the end you stumbled upon this grandmother with a wolf in her hand, so you would have completely forgotten why you came here. And then we saw a cool boss fight, about which there is nothing to say except that is cool. Following the boss fight, the negro lady and I arranged an animal animal race, which is due to the colorful colors of the dimensions, participle starring and the divine soundtrack looks indescribably beautiful. Having played enough, it was time to return home and therefore Atreus picked up his ball and set the world home. <sighs> Like that? And ended up at home, in the place from which they hand out guns and Sindri house. Other home, other home, other home. Someone will get a belt right now. But instead of belt, we got a boss fight, the participant of which was Freya, who could not bring herself to kill Kratos and therefore asked him to help her to go from Mingard. And in fact, this is what we will do now. At the same time, having met Freya's brother, from whom we complete a few tasks, and we will help reunite these two hippies and also find a suitable hired uh, woman for Brock, uh, whose accent is so Texas that I think the Mexicans should not go in those places. Freya completely changes her mind about killing Kratos and therefore we again became friends and together with her we will devote the rest of our days, I mean the rest of days in this game to killing Odin. Putting a severed head on top of the air is prohibited by laws of physics. Despite the fact that Kratos can swim, which could be seen from very first part, in some places he pieces even knee deep into the water. Arriving home, it is time to get the bell to your notice on, but first you need to find out where this can have been disappearing for the whole day. Answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! And then came the moment when Atreus turned out into hysteric. I understand of course that that is also wrong with such hyper custodity, but as it were, you know that Odin is at will, you know that nothing good awaits you in Asgard, literally everyone tells you that you should never mess with Odin, you can't. Look at me! At Freya! At Tia! Odin did this to us! Why did you suddenly want to go to there so much? Purely to spite your dad? Get kicked in the head or something? Yes, and that is also great. Instead of calmly explaining to this moron why you don't need to go to Asgard, he stupidly tasks it, yells at him and simply forbids him to go there, thereby pushing his hysterical child to do the opposite. Atreus suddenly increases his health bar and rage bar in random moment. As far as I understood, the improvement that Kratos made with his indicators were somehow transferred to his son, I only hope that is not sexually. Just like the new type of error that Freya had, Atreus also appeared automatically. <sighs> She closed that window. I'm sure that closing the window with these shutters will drastically change the weather condition inside the house. And I am just as sure that one spark will not ignite for second icy locks. And yet this little moron decided that he would be able to piece off Odin, and therefore he still went to Asgard, which together with Thor and Odin looks a million times better than that misunderstanding from Valhalla. And in fairness, it was admitting that firstly he really succeeded in cheat Odin, until it turns out that Odin had actually been uh, cheating Atreus all this time along with his friends, uh, which we will get to later. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over.
So Kratos thought Atreus all the survival skills he knew, but completely forgot to teach him swim. C Cause why teach you kids to swim in a place where the fucking water is really? And again, a buggy item that cannot be interacted with because the square symbol decided not to appear. But this time at least it's clear where I need, and I am sure it's buggy, so you can reboot. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe? Because when it's hard you to breathe, the most logical action will be to talk in parallel to that, uh, so that you have even less air. If earlier I had only assumption that Atreus is Spider-Man, that after such climb, I all dubs instantly evaporated. An asshole character must definitely hold an apple in his hand, which he will definitely bite once in between and then throw it away, it cliche. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. We will build a great wall and Mexico will pay for the wall. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! As it turns out, Odin is not all interested in war, but he is actually interested in the mask, uh, which we have to assemble in parts in order to send it to the earth, uh, so it was the cause of this piece of shit. Now I really definitely convinced that Odin is a villain. Thor! Get down here! Oh, father. Don't do that. As it turns out, Thor has now learned to teleport silently because this is Thor's superpower, which he has nowhere he did not use and will never use again in any work with his participation. By the way, I almost forgot, disappear and destroy objects and defeated opponents in the game of 2022nd year, why not? Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to the bone. Nothing judging by the way you fucked Kratos with it, after which every bone is his body remained intact and unattached. Look! Clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And it's also obvious that you have learned to talk without closing your mouth. A little advice for you Atreus. If you want to trick Odin into thinking you are on his side, don't steal him out of the treasure chest while he is in the same room. The transition is certainly cool, but how is Atreus knife in two places at the same time? In the meantime, the drawers repaired Kratos shield, which is very important for him, as he said, but now so much for me, since I already have much better shields in my inventory. Why do I need this? Obviously not to drift on wagon. By the way, we now know how to drift on wagon, because the main character is bold and he has a family. Why this exists in the game, I have no idea, but it exists in the game. Fire cannot melt the block of ice we have to pass through. Kratos and Freya came to these three grandmothers in order for them to tell them what to do next and how to find Atreus, but instead they informed him that the prophecy would come true and he would die. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. And beside this grand mask, quite often we will be prepared for the fact that Kratos will eventually die and uh, like Atreus will become the main character, but in the end it is not happened, from which I was upset at first, but then I remembered Last of Us 2 and many games and films which such plot and realized that I didn't need another one like that. Well, in principle this prophecy turned out not to be so false, so the story of Kratos will really end at the end. and. The Atreus will become the main character, only Kratos will let him go swimming, not because he will die, but because he would overcome his overprotection of a child, and this is a pretty good ending to the story without the needing to kill the protagonist of The Last of Us. Coming out of these fortune tailors, we accidentally stumbled upon the gallows, on which Odin once hung himself and now it has magical properties and is able to influence his neck in a negative way. Also these fortune tailors predicted that Grendel would try to kill Atreus and therefore we need to kill Grendel before that. Wow, okay, Heimdall. Let's see, never loses, sees everything coming, unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. And just like that, the drawers know where to get weapons with which it will be possible to kill him. And by the way, Odin, who is now disguised as Tyr, being such a cool manipulate fucker, could not convince Kratos not to kill Grendel, and knowing that Kratos will go in to kill him, could not even protect him from being killed or even try to prevent him from getting despair. Didn't even go with them for this weapon. Something Odin's skill led him down to the most opportune moment for us. Unless he decided to come, it's his guys and 
Odin tried to convince him because if Kratos did not listen to Tyr, naturally he will listen to Odin, he trusts him so much. And that one fool having his son hostage, who will be killed if something happens to him, does not make any attempts to kill Kratos. Because of his failure in raising his son, Kratos decided to beat the wall, because the broken fingers would be a great help with his attempt to defeat Odin. He also taught his son this fucker not a dead. In order to destroy this ice floor, be sure to put exploding spares in all three holes on it. If you blow it up in only one place or even two, it will stand rotten to the spot. Well, it's also impossible to melt it with blades of chaos, because game design. In Helheim they are trying to stop a dog that is tearing apart the dimensions by creating holes in them, which Atreus accidentally or to be more precise released on purpose when he was hanging out with one of the reasons of his anonymism. And now he sends his father for going with him to correct his mistake. Thanks for coming back with me. You didn't have to. This dog ripped all the worlds of yours. Of course he didn't have to, even if it continues to rip your dimensions. What does Kratos care about that really? Atreus himself would have easily coped with this uh, doggy. Why does a dog decide in the middle of a fight that he need to stop and stand still in one place? Well, yes, it is probably would not hurt to say that this boss fight is quite long, quite diverse and creative, and quite epic and hype. One day, you will have to survive. Without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. It would be interesting to see how you will not let Kratos die on old age. Oh, and yes, this is the most cutest scene I have ever seen in my life, and now I want myself the exact same dog in exactly the same size. I am sorry. Don't be sorry, father. Be better. <laughs> He said the phrase that his father told him at the beginning of the first game, it is cool. We all return home and now Atreus tells everyone about the masks that Odin is collecting. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. He just fully described the motivation of the creators of Son of the Mask to create Son of the Mask. That and his son return the moon to the sky which these wolves will now run after, so that the time of day can change and they notice that no matter how hard they try, they still follow the footsteps of the prophecy. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it do what is necessary. Not because it is written. With whatever motivation he does it, it will in any case be following the prophecy. God of War invented the flare gun before some guy invented the flare gun. What does they say about the Grendel? He able to foresee everything that will happen to him. <laughs> You are rudely provoked. Somehow he could not foresee that this pair could explode. Yes, I have already read that his name is Heimdall, but since I started calling him Grendel, then it will be Grendel. And do not piss me off, otherwise I'll call him Gandalf. Something tells me that after lying down, or to be a little more precise, jumping with his belly on the armor of Kratos, Freyr had to earn several new injuries of his belly. There, as it were, one of the swords of chaos sticks out with a tip up. But anyway, this QT run is pretty cool. After which we sailed on the boat with Freyr, which sailed straight in the waterfall. Okay, this is bad. Hey, on! You should have seen your faces. This was a pretty funny scene. But during the fight we had a new problem in the form of this giant dragon. No! Oh no, some random guy sacrificed his life for us. Oh, oh no, no, not him, I will miss him so much, whoever he is. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary. Not because it was written. But nevertheless, it was foretold. And then, contrary to the prediction, Atreus went along the path of prediction back to Odin. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say where game. A magical thing that allows you to get out of hopeless situation. How convenient that it appears in the plot right now, but that just one question. Where was it before that? 
At Odin's in Asgard we got into a local fight in a bar in which you can see how Odin warriors are professional dudes who are not able to cope with a little kid. We collected the mask, stole it and dumped in back home, where we were already about to attack Asgard when suddenly Brock noticed something was wrong with Tyr. Calls Atrey Loki, suddenly knows the passage to Asgard about which he was silent all the time and indeed it was Odin disguised as Tyr and Brook paid for his curiosity rather quickly. You know that! That ain't his name. Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh, you never shut up. Run. This character was very cute and his death and the subsequent uh, emotional strife of Sindri could squeeze out of me and after the credits he will even entire funeral will be desiccated. And this plot twist with Odin who has been among us all the time turned out to be really unexpected. And after that Kratos suddenly changes his mind about killing Odin. Because he won't chase you until he kills you, why not build the dick and go home? And why just a couple of minutes ago you are not against killing Odin, what made you change your mind? Odin who showed up among you, so this on contrary should have severed an additional motivation to quickly kill him. And moreover this unwillingness to find will disappear from him pretty quickly, as soon as they come to their home, he like that right away, but no I changed my mind, let's go kill Odin. But before attacking Asgard we still have to get ourselves an army. Everyone went to different places, recruiting everyone they can. We seek a fire giant. Yeah, yes, guru. <laughs> By sticking your oblong object in a hole of another creature, we created a guy named Ragnarok, which always happen when you stick all your stuff in other people, which will help us to speed out of Asgard. After that we were attacked by Valkyries, with whom we defeat with the most epic way in existence. <laughs> So, you fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Fuck, there are so many references to the previous games of the series that while playing this one several times already managed to regret that I did not play the previous ones. The rest also got allies. Sigrun! It's good to see you, sword. Alive! How could you understand through the mask who she is? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Can't, uh, well, I don't know, arrange an overmight stay inside, uh, in a place where at least the wind does not blow with snow. They don't even close the passage in the tent, why the hell haven't you d died on first bite yet? What happened next was a frame that was instantly touching until I found out that Kratos would live, but still right now Kratos like the player thinks that he will die and therefore touching has place to be. And we ended up in Asgard where we saw such an epic battle that even the Avengers and game were a little jealous. It's big, it's loud, it's creatively stacked and the environment changes endlessly, something is constantly happen in the background, they took part in general everyone we met through the game and we will have two incredibly cool boss fights in it, first with Thor, as a result of which Kratos refused to kill him, but Odin helped him with this dilemma and then we found the final boss, this same Freddy Krueger. Well done son, well done. Oh fuck, will I have grandchildren soon? Be another Jotnar. Only he can put on a mask. Please tell me that Jim Carrey will come now, put on this mask and give the final con to Odin. Unfortunately no, we fought again, this time for the last time with Odin and his con came all the same from our hands. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No I can. I have to know what happens next. I want to know what metamorphosis in my body will make me turn in Anthony Hopkins. Then Ragnarok accidentally kicked our asses and we moved to a happy ending where Kratos survived and let Atreus go to his personal adventure. Since it is not known what the level of racial unawareness will be during the release of the third game and it may then be fashionable to insert disadvantaged two meter agents into the game, who knows. And this is how the new God of War Ragnarok was, incredibly cool, epic, dividing, beautiful 
powerful, sometimes tear squeezing action that at first glance looks and plays exactly like the previous game, only with snow, but in fact it is completely new, huge and gracious story. Some says that if it were a CD project, they would sell this game in addition to the first one for half the price, to which I will answer that you are stupid. And to not to be stupid, you need to subscribe to our channel, like, repost and comment this video.